iOS 18.4 public beta 1 is out now 18.4 is also available for the public registers so if you want to install this update you can install this update how you can install this update is quite simple what you need to do is simply go to your settings go to the journal go to software update and over here you will see the update make sure in beta updates you have selected iOS 18 public beta and once you do this go back you will see the update i'm already on this update this is why i'm not seeing this update also i'm using it for a while so yeah i will also talk about the battery life and the performance but first let's talk about what is new in this update first of all apple intelligence now apple intelligence is available in new 10 languages which is a really good sign um, now it is available in different languages also it is available in eu region also going to the next thing genmoji is in the keyboard well it was in the keyboard but now if you tap on the keyboard over here in the emoji section you will see the genmoji icon it is not showing over here because this is not ai iphone also when you go to the news app apple news app with the apple news plus subscription you will see recipes in food section a much better catalog of recipes which is very nice also when you go to the control center tap and hold add a control from here go over here and you will see ambient music over here there are different modes on which you can play the music it is um attach with the apple music so they only work with the apple music so if you're using apple music you are good to go also now there is dynamic icons for example if i tap and hold over here add a control from here and let me add um this one and when i'm this one these icons are uh, dynamic as you can see the cellular one is low because i'm not work the cellular is not working over here so when the wi-fi signals will be low it will also show over here so it is like showing what actually signals are coming out very nice to see also in the image playground now there is a new style option that is sketch so if you are a user who uses apple intelligence and want to play with image playground now you can also try a new style of sketch that's very nice also the advanced data protection feature is disabled in uk for some reason and for the iphone 15 users iphone 15 wallpapers are also back in this update which is like i got a lot of comments that when iphone 15 wallpapers will be back and well with this update they are back which is very very nice now if i talk about further prioritize notifications are also over here so it uses apple intelligence to show the most important notifications in a separate section again it is for the iphones that support apple intelligence i don't care this at all so these are some of the things that are out with the um i was 18.4 public beta one again big features like city upgrade and all that is not out yet they are pushing it and may it comes out with the ios 18.5 i will talk about that in a separate video so these are the all new features now since i am using this update because i updated to the developer beta one and it is same as the developer beta one i want to talk about how the battery is performing for a while now Although I will bring a full-fledged uh, three, um, three day review video tomorrow, but let's talk about how the battery is performing for a bit now. So over here, if I go to the battery section, let the battery start slow last 10 days. This is the first day when I use the iOS 18.4 beta one. As you can see, I use 125% and against that I got nine hours and 10 minutes screen on time. If I average this out, I'm getting more than seven hours for um 100 which is decent not the best but decent during this time i use tiktok a lot instagram a lot some other applications like prime video facebook for some reason shazam was running in the background i don't know why but yeah it was i also use tab mat and some other applications as you can see but again this is a decent battery life one important thing to understand i was always take couple of days to get better so i'm still hoping 
that in upcoming days I will get a better performance out of the battery running iOS 18.4 beta 1. Now if I go to the next day where I used almost 85% of my battery level, maybe 90% and I got almost 7 hours of screen on time where I used TapMed, Instagram, Safari, WhatsApp and some other apps as you can see. Now moving to the next day over here, I used around like 70, uh, maybe 70% and this time I got way better screen on time. It is like almost 7 hours, more than 7 hours a bit. And during this time, I use TapMed, WhatsApp, and some other applications. So yeah, battery life, sometimes it is really good, sometimes it is decent. But yes, battery life seems really, really decent. And overall, everything is working fine. Now, one thing I'm not happy is the Geekman score. So I also want to share the Geekman score of the iOS 18.4 beta 1. So if I go to the CPU benchmark CPU history, now this is the first score. I ran the score. Right after the update came out, you can see 2339 on a single core, while 5562 on a multi core. In a single core, it is higher than the average one. In the multi core, it's, it is slightly higher than the average one, but I was not happy with this one. Um, and uh, this is not that good, but still, it is what it is. Um, I ran the test again, and this time I got a slightly better scores. Um, on single core, I got way better score. It is 2371.5, which is one of the best. Not the best, but one of the best. And on the multi core, I got 5789. So this is a better score than the previous one. But again, this is not the best. I was getting higher scores on 18.3.1, as you can see over here. I was getting way higher scores. So yeah, obviously, it is the first beta. It will get better. This is why it's decent. And same for the GPU benchmark, the GPU scores are good actually, 21.271, way higher than the average one. In fact, it is higher than the 18.3.1, which is a good sign. So in the overall usage, the device is running really, really good. Everything is fine. I am enjoying the performance. So far, things are really good. But still, I am missing out a lot of things that we were waiting for the CD upgrade. I know it is coming for the Apple and Dungeons iPhones only, but still every other person was waiting that we will get 18.4 with the new CD and all that. But no, there is no new CD. Apple is pushing those updates. Um, I know I might have missed more things that are in this update. I will cover them in upcoming more videos. So yeah, so far in this video, I talk about that iOS 18.4 public beta 1 is out. I shared what is new in this update and I also shared the battery life and the performance from last couple of days. Now it's time to talk about should you update to the iOS 18.4 public beta 1. Well, so many people were talking about that 18.4 beta 1 is not good. It is doing a battery draining. So I always suggest you guys to skip the first beta. First beta is never good. It will definitely include a lot of bugs and all that stuff. So I always suggest you guys to, you know, don't install the first beta. Wait for the couple of beta. If you really, really want to try out the new thing, maybe go for the beta 3. But if you are like me who don't care about the bugs and want to try it out, you can try it out. Well, this is all from this video. I hope you like this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Do like and share this video, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.